Hello everyone, it's not animations and I was going to do a quick mindless tutorial about um, how to make it not blurry. And this isn't really, um, let me do this one. This isn't really a tutorial on how to like do the, like MIP. I'll show you that because that's part of the tutorial, but like, here, let me just select any area over here really. Okay. So if you want to, you don't need to save this. Whoops, tutorial. You can copy all these down if you want to do it like me. It's basically I don't really mess with it, so it should be just about what you would get from installing the program. But I don't know if I changed anything. So I'm just gonna hit OK now. And once that blue bar fills up, or I don't know, uh, you know, once it fills up, then you know, it should be ready. So we're gonna go into Cinema 4D. I'm gonna go here. And we're gonna go to the tutorial. Now, if you're using Cinema 4D R18, you really, really have to copy down these right now. So, you know, come here, make sure it's meters, texture cords, materials, import, white. Oh, that you need this because on Cinema 40 R18, um, I don't know when they changed it because I haven't really used Cinema 40 in a while. But uh, now it looks like this one is importing an OBJ, and um, it just doesn't work like the way it used to. So make sure you copy down these right here, and I'm gonna be okay. All right, so now here's the part that most everyone knows. You open this up. You select all of these, just double click it so that it opens up the material editor, and then you, you can highlight all these, it won't do anything, but you'll see it says multiple values. So you want to go to make sure that this is none. When you first do it, it's going to say MIP, but you need to make sure that this is none. Then you're going to want to turn off reflectance, and then you want to come down to alpha, turn it on, and then you're going to want to go to the thing, like, texture thing again right here and you're going to want to go to make sure you do the map name rgba for alpha and then you're also going to want to set this one to none all right now here's the part that this tutorial is all about you will notice when you use mindways that it makes your textures very blurry until you render it now most people have just come to you know oh this is just what mindways does you know, it's not, it's not blurry on the render, you see, you know, see, we fixed it, but I'm going to blow your mind if you didn't know this, because I just found this out today when I was messing with it. If you select all of these, and you go to editor, and you go to texture preview size and do no scaling, no scaling, it's fixed, you can see all the color, you can see all the block textures, there's no more scaling. And now you can see each individual block. And I think this is like, wow, how come we don't... I was looking for a tutorial on how to do this on YouTube, and I can't find one. I don't know, like, what's going on, but, like, this is amazing. I wish more people knew about this. Because it really just makes doing, like, the workflow thing a lot easier. Like, if you want to import, like, custom blocks. Uh, like, uh, let me go to Tumba Bits, or... Tumba bits, uh, nature, doesn't really matter. Nether, I mean, I guess. <laughs> so, like, before with the Mindways texture scaling, lining up a block was, you know, it wasn't like, oh, uh, I'm never going to be able to do it, but, you know, like, it wasn't very enjoyable. But now, with no texture scaling at all, I'm able to perfectly line up this block first try. So then if we render it, it fits. Before with Mindways, it wouldn't do that. So I really, really hope this tutorial like helped you. I really hope that you can like actually use this. I know I'm, this is I'm gonna be able to do this for the rest of my animations. Like I'm, there's no tutorials on this on YouTube. I have no idea why. It's not difficult, but you know. I hope that I can help some people. I hope that I can help a lot of people use Mindways, considering that this is like why wouldn't you want to use this? So yeah, see you in the next video, see you in the next uh, whatever I upload.